Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I'm Bob Lewis, and I got a uh, special video here. This is the video on how to turn a Prox Project 2020 uh, card into a casket card, essentially. So, uh, a lot of people of you that I've shared with this already, just kind of through text or whatever, know the story uh to some extent but uh april 13th i bought the keith shore mark mcguire i think it was card number 24 uh just a ridiculous card did a ridiculous video about it it's just you know perfectly content on keeping that card in my um goofy pc forever and then uh we'll just say project 2020 started to gain a little steam and people lost their minds and then that card, um, you know, about a month later was selling for close to $200 in the $180 range ish. And I had to list it, you know, uh, for a card that I paid about 18 bucks for that's selling for now 10 times that that's kind of a, what we call a no brainer. And, um, and actually bought this card thinking, okay, that card's going to sell for about a hundred bucks. Uh, I bought this card. Very cool card, right? Well, as the week progressed, that Keith Shore listing started to gain a little bit more momentum, and people lost their minds even more, and now they're wanting to pay two, three, four, five hundred dollars for it. So on Sunday there was a flurry of activity on my phone, sort of a buzz followed by a buzz. Followed by a pause, followed by a buzz, followed by a buzz. The buzzing was my phone going off. Uh, those were bids coming through and eBay letting me know people were bidding on that ridiculous Mark McGuire card. And the, so the, the bidding it was up to like 585 midday on Sunday, the last day of the auction. And I uh, just, again, just watching it happen, man. Um, by accident, completely stumbled into this, to something like that, but... Uh, definitely smart enough uh, to take advantage of it, uh, <laughs> uh, thankfully. So not around 9 o'clock, that uh, auction is, is scheduled to, to end. One ended right before me and hit 760. Um, my auction ended and hit $810 for a card that I paid, you know, a little over $18 shipped and uh, just blown away. Uh, completely so what am I gonna buy now well you might ask yourself that same question and that's what I bought I uh, I don't know what to say I mean just a beautiful card Uh, nicely centered, no brown on any of the corners, except maybe for this one down here, and it's literally just a touch. But you see that s little slice right there? BSA automatically going to give it a one. And uh, I'm thankful, you know, little stain right there, some minimal, like, really, like, micro creases and... and uh, but nothing I feel like that takes away from the card whatsoever. Um, can't believe I'm holding this. This card, you know, I had already sort of told myself that uh, I wasn't going to be able to get this card until I sold the Brady. And if you know what I'm, you know, watching my channel long enough, you know what the Brady is. But um, somehow, some way, there was a shift in the collecting universe. <laughs> And I was able to sell that Mark McGuire and and buy this. Um, now I I did what I paid more than um, what other uh, PSA ones typically or can go for, but I I felt like it was well worth it. Um, you know the extra hundred bucks uh, I think went a, went a long way. And the guy actually um, he actually cut me another fifty dollar deal once uh, once I asked him. And that was, and and that's really it, you know. I mean, this card, it peaked, uh, you know, the day after Memorial Day, it peaked about about uh, twelve hundred 
1275, at least ones that I could see that had like, you know, 30 plus bids on it. Uh, not these one offs like for 1300 or $1,400. Um, <clears throat> and yeah. And now this, and now the, uh, the Mark McGuire is selling for, um, you know, between four and $500. So for once in my life, well, I don't want to sound just like everything always goes wrong for Bob Lewis, but this particular time, uh, I was able to, 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 to jump on it. I didn't hit it at its peak, but I definitely, uh, caught it on its way up. And, um, man, I got a Roberto Clemente rookie card in my collection, guys. Uh, I really needed this for my Pirates team set. So that's pretty much, you know, I'd have no other reason to want this card other than to fill that team set. So lucky me. Uh, <laughs> thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. I uh, hope you guys are doing well with uh, with anything that you're working on out there. Uh, it be interesting to see how all this plays out in the long run. Um, I think there's going to be a lot more ups and downs. And with that said, there's my uh, thoughts on 2020 Project Tops. You didn't even know you were getting a Project 2020 Tops video in this video, and yet you got 20 Project 20s of uh, Bob Lewis. Later, Bob. Don't call me Bob. It's Roberto.